So that's 20 things. Let's go through them again. Number one, insurance and WCB coverage. Number two, registered or incorporated business adds some cost to everything. Number three, quality employees that have extra training. They clean your sites for you. There it is. Yeah, they care a bit more. Number four, operational overhead, such as trucks, maybe a showroom and whatnot, trailers. Number five, they're going to own some specialty tools that the other guys haven't invested in, which will result in a finer finish. Uh, number six, the craftsman's touch means they're a little bit more picky about the details of the deck. They'll make those extra trips to the saw when another guy won't necessarily. Um, or they'll eat the cost of a board that they cut shorter. Like that's a big one, right? They'll go, like uh, they won't be happy with the finish themselves. They'll be like, happens. I'm eating that one. That's a hundred bucks mm -hmm. off me, mm -hmm. but I'm not leaving that miter that open. It's a quarter inch short. And we did that. Those guys will do it. The guy who's there, like let you buy your own materials and he just wants to slap together the weekend. He ain't eating the board. You can tell nope. you that for sure. Yeah. And he's also 25 times more likely to make that cut in the first place. Yeah. Wrong. Uh, number seven, higher quality finish or more complete finish. Number eight was the warranty that's provided by a good outfit. Uh, number nine, experience. You're paying for the 20 years, not the 20 hours. Number 10, higher quality products when it comes to the accessories or maybe even the decking and the railing, just getting better products within that quote. Number 11, the special touches, like we talked about the folded corners. I actually had biscuited corners in here as well. Some guys will spend the extra time trying to make sure those miters stay closed by biscuiting or pocket screwing or all these different things where the other guys, it's just like staple, staple, on to the next. <laughs> I want to build a deck with you one day of all of the things that we think are wrong. I want to do one. I want to build like a, just a four by four landing in like all of the bad things we've seen. Put that on your list of videos we should make. Yeah. Just a comedy of errors building a deck. Yeah. It's like the use those really good deck boards, deck don'ts or whatever, something like that. But deck don'ts. Yeah. Anyways. Perfect. Number 12, <laughs> using better fasteners. Number 13, building beyond the code. Number 14, doing things that are going to add extra longevity to the project, like taping the joist, using some standoffs, mostly revolving around water management and that, yep. that point there. Yep. Number 15, a more complete and accurate takeoff of what's required to do the job. Number 16, a wider scope of work. So they're including things that the other guys just flat out is not including stairs and and having proper communication with the client to know what they want within the scope of the work in the first place mm -hmm. like you don't want to act like quote in skirting if that's something they didn't actually want like that'll be on you but yep um and that's actually maybe a check for the other guy too like did they include everything you wanted because like i said in my case they hadn't um after sales service so the follow-ups the being available if you need something from them the helping you with warranties if you need that um we gotta restart the video here oh you lost that one comment just barely that guy commented and you lost it oh well uh that was number 17 number 18 was the fact that they've maybe earned the ability the the what, what am I trying to say? They've earned the right to charge a little bit more because they've created a demand for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so they, yeah. therefore they can be a little bit more choosy about who they work for. They can work for clients that have a higher budget that are willing to pay a little bit more for something like that. And number 19 was the fact that some guys are going to include some design work in this. It may just be a sketch. It may be a 3d design. It may be a full blown, like walk through 3d design, but they're including something to help with the visuals. And number 20 is the permits part the ever important permits part they are maybe getting proper plans done getting permits submitted doing it all the right way and the other guy's probably not 